Okay, well, this is my first attempt at uh, chainsaw milling. I marked it with a string and cut the first, which is the top um, side. And then I rotated it 90. I've now cut the second side. I'm now going to go over and cut the third side. And uh, we'll give it a roll right around 180. No, it would be 90. I'll roll it over 90 and uh, then we'll cut the fourth and final side. See how it works. I need an 8 by 8 so the tree gets a little small at the top. So it's going to have a little bark on the side, but it really doesn't uh, matter too much. Um, what it's being used for is this right hand side beam uh, on the dock here. Uh, as you can see, obviously, has, uh, has failed. So we're going to uh, pull that out of here and replace it with a new beam and uh, nail up the boards. Uh, so I mean, in actual fact, the only it just needs to be flat where it sits at the two ends here on the bottom. The underside it doesn't really matter if it's got bark on it, and uh, the top needs to be flat where we're putting the boards. So that's only requirement. So anyway, we'll keep at it. One of the suggest suggestions on one of the YouTube was to uh, put a level on the back of the saw so then you could hold your saw level as you were cutting. But for me that did not work at all because with the shaking and vibrating of the saw that just turned into a, just a mass of tiny little bubbles across the whole the whole top of it. So it was it was useless. That was seemed like a good idea and seemed to work for the fellow who was doing it, but sure didn't work for me. So I have three sides done. Uh, how straight did I get it? I have no idea. Uh, let's climb down here and take a look. Uh. Too bad, I guess. That's going to be my top side. Yeah, she looks a little, little wonky, but it's not bad. For first time, never done this before. I think it's passable. And for what I'm doing, just hacking out a beam, it's certainly going to do the job. And voila! The finished beam. It will be quite suitable for my purposes. Turned out rather perfecto.